Okay, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is once again Two Bros The Gaming HD. And we're back again with, yet again, another video of Farm Simulator 2019. So I've been posting a lot of videos right here from the game and that is also why I want you guys to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It is basically the red button down under this video. That would be pretty cool. And also hit the thumbs up if you think the new Farm Simulator 2019 is one of the greatest simulator game out there on the market. I don't know if you guys already got it, but let me know in the comment section if you actually have this. It would be so cool. You can see right here, or you probably saw the title and also the thumbnail, but right here we got Gen Deere Equipment. And that is basically what we're going to go ahead and focus about in this video. I'm going to go ahead and do a in-depth review of all the Gen Deere Equipment we have to start out with in FS19. I think that Gen Deere is probably going to be the biggest news about Farming Simulator right here, because it's a big deal that Giants already have or finally got Gen Deere in the game. So right here, that's the Gen Deere lineup. Right here we have all the tractors that is available. We do also have all the combines that is available. And we do have the headers, the front weights, and also the loader right there. Over here we have some more headers. So that is basically what we do have from the Gen Deere brand. And this bad boy right here is a one hell of a big ass header. This is a 45 feet wide header. Flex, you can see it's a flex header right here, which is one of the best headers out there and well, kind of the newest in its technology. So if we start out right here from the scratch, we have the 6135M. This is the 6000 or kind of 6M series. So you can change, uh, you can actually kind of customize this, whatever you want to go ahead and do with six. The next one in the line, this is just the, the smallest one, the 6135. We do have on the side of that the 6230R. This is the R series in the 6er. So the 6R series, as I just said. So that's pretty good. This 6R has GPS on the top of it, but the M doesn't. I don't think it is standard. Like I say, there's a huge difference between the 6R and the 6M. I really like the 6R series a little bit more, but still, I don't like it that much. If we go wider, we're gonna get up to the big notch, or kind of the, that's the actually the huge tractors. We have the seven R series. I like that a little bit more than the six R. So this is kind of like getting bigger and bigger right here with that one. So this is the seven two thirty R, which is also the smallest in that series of seven series. Over here we do have the top of the notch, which is the eight thousand. 245R, which is also the smallest in the 8R series from John Deere. That's pretty cool. So this is the biggest kind of normal tractor you can get from John Deere. You can of course get the 8400R, which is the most powerful one from John Deere right here. So yeah, that's the normal tractor and that is the biggest of the normal tractors. Over here we do have the RT tractor, which means actually tracks. It is basically the same tractor as the one right here, but it just have tracks on instead of wheels. So that's why it's called RT. So it is the 8R series, just, just with a T on, and the T stands for obviously tracks. That's pretty cool indeed. Over here we do have the T560i which is one of Gen Deere's new combines. It's a small, medium-sized combine. I don't... My pure opinion on this is that it is an ugly combine. I don't like that combine and the design that much. But a lot of farmers here in Denmark do actually have this T-series uh, from Gen Deere, but I don't like it that much, obviously. So that's how I kind of feel it. On the side of that, we do have the biggest combine from Gen Deere, which is the S790. You can actually go ahead, if I go to the store right here, you can get into Gen Deere, you can get to the S790, you can take, kind of change it with twin wheels, standard, white tires, quarter tracks, you can see white tires right there on the front, quarter tracks, or twin wheels. So yeah, that's kind of how you can customize these. You cannot put more horses on it, you cannot do anything else, but you can customize the wheels, so that's pretty cool. I do believe that this is a good looking combine. It's really heavy with the white tires on and also the twin wheels, so that's pretty dope. Here we do have the front loader from Gen Deere. This is the 643R, 
it's called that. It's a front loader, fits perfectly with the other tractors. One of the smaller one, of course. And then we do have the front weight for John Deere also fits pretty freaking dope with that. We do have right here the header, which is actually a corn header. It is, of course, the John Deere 608C. I think the C is standing for corn, but I'm not sure. Over here we do have this right here, which is the 625X. This is a normal header. Basically, it's a 25 feet, that's why it's called 625. And as you can see right here, this is actually, just see right here, this is a 645FD. This is the hugest, or kind of like the biggest, what can you say, header from John Deere. It's 45 feet wide, so it's pretty freaking huge, and it suits perfectly together alongside with the S790 combine, at least. So that's cool too really is. We do have another cone header right here, which is also pretty freaking huge. I think this is 40 feet, or oh, I don't know how many feet it actually is, but it is an 18 row. So this is a C also, which stands for corn. Let me just see how many rows the other one was on right here. I think that's what, that was eight, yeah. So this stands for, this is eight rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight rows. So yeah, that's pretty cool with that also. I'm gonna go ahead and see, actually I'm gonna go ahead and buy something. We're gonna go ahead and take the 6R front loader attacher. We're gonna get, I'm gonna take the 6250R. I'm gonna take front loader attacher, yes. Wheel setup, wide tires, twin wheels. You can get this with twin wheels, that's insane. Uh, we're gonna take white tires plus weights. That's a pretty good setup. So then we're gonna get and get over here. So if some of you guys is actually kind of wondering about how do you get that much money on the PS4 and the Xbox One, please go ahead and take a look at my previously uploaded video. It's called Easy Money Cheat on PS4 and Xbox One in Farmers Maria 2019. It is probably the easiest way to go ahead and get some money in the game at the moment. Uh, because there is no kind of like money cheat boxes available yet. So I kind of like got it in just 10 minutes. So go ahead and take a look at my previously uploaded video about that because it's pretty easy and it probably is the easiest way to get that money right here. So right there. I think we're gonna get into front loaders. If I can actually go ahead and do that. We don't have any shovels or anything right here available yet. Is that, is that uh, true? That cannot be true. We're gonna go ahead and see if we have it. Front loaders, tiller handlers. We're gonna go to front loaders. Here we have the Gendia, of course, but we don't have any Gendia shovels or anything like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. Just gonna go ahead and buy it, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the main color, change color. Then we can just go ahead and take a almost looking Gendia color. So we're gonna go ahead and buy that. Everything needs to be in the Gendia color when we have a Gendia. Uh, front load, I think so. Yeah, that's just me. Oh Jesus! I just hit the tires on the six. This is the 790R right there. Right there, we do have it. So I think that's pretty freaking awesome with that, with that setup, of course. I think I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put it right there. Could that be cool? I don't know, but I think so. So I really do think that, that we have the train actually. I really do think it's pretty cool with the with the train just driving around and doing different kind of kind of stuff right here in the game. It really is. It's it's dope that the machine is just driving around actually. So right here we have the 6250R tractor with the 643R loader on it, and we got the stall right here on that in a green John Deere colorway. I think we actually hit the color like pretty nice. So. That is at least a good thing, of course, I think so. So that's pretty dope, I do believe. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's time to actually go ahead and end this. I just want to go ahead and take a look at an overview on all Gen Deo tractors, and uh, I pretty much did that, so I think that's pretty cool. So I want you guys to go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you got the game, and if you think the game is actually good. Let me know in the comment section if you actually got the game yet, or if you're gonna get it later on. That would be pretty great. I'm kind of thinking about doing a giveaway later on, so go ahead and subscribe to the channel to get more news about that when it comes 
to uh, kind of be realistic and stuff like that. So hit the thumbs up, make, make the subscribe button lit up. Let's click the red button down below to actually subscribe to the channel. We actually add more than 21,000 subs right here, so join the Two Blues Gaming HD family and be a bro. That would be pretty cool. I think that we're going to go ahead and end the video right here. So once again, thanks for watching. This is Gen Deer. Let me know what you think about the Gen Deer package. Let me know what you think about the game in general. And then we're going to see you guys later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks.